If I had to take one supplement, this might be the one. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to the Ask Dr. Fakel Show. And today we are going to talk about resveratrol. And maybe you've heard of resveratrol, maybe you haven't, but um, resveratrol, pretty amazing supplement and, and just uh, so many benefits to resveratrol. So there's some sources for resveratrol and, and you really can't get enough probably from foods. Well, not probably, really you can't. Um, grapes, blueberries, um, cranberries, and everybody likes dark chocolate usually, or even cocoa uh, will have uh, resveratrol, but you would have to intake a lot to actually get the benefits of resveratrol. In fact, you, you probably wouldn't be able to intake enough per day to actually get those benefits. So what can this do? So, uh, you know, one thing about this is it does uh, help the heart. I mean, we know from research that resveratrol, great for cardiovascular um, support and uh, uh, it even prevents coronary disease, which is just uh, top of the list there. Um, it, it, when we have stresses in life, um, such as physical stresses, emotional stresses, chemical stresses, those affect our immune system, our body, our inflammation levels, and this promotes a healthy response to those. It boosts the immune system. It helps with autoimmune disease, and this is where we really see it beneficial. In fact, um, with our patients, you know, we actually, I would say one of my frontline supplements is resveratrol. It has so many benefits in, in getting down inflammation and stopping this chronic inflammatory uh, side of the immune system. And then, of course, a powerful antioxidant, free radical fighter um, uh, you know, it, it, oxidation is just happening daily. It's aging us, and this helps to push back against that. So what's really neat about it is it supports certain genes, uh, and, and I would call these my top 60 genes that I usually look at, but here's the ones that it supports the most uh, that, that really have benefits. Uh, I would say these first three genes, um, nitric oxide gene, catalase gene, superoxide dismutase, these are all genes involved in keeping inflammation under control and it helps to support those genes. So if you're low, if these, if you have a lot of chronic inflammation, I would bet that one of those genes, if not two or even three are having problems. Uh, and, and so resveratrol can really be a game changer there. Another one is DAO, diamine oxidase. Now, this is the gene that's involved a lot with histamine levels. So when people say, oh, I got allergies all the time, I got a high histamine, I'm reacting to a lot of things. Yeah, resveratrol can help support that gene and decrease those histamine levels. APOE, that's the gene involved with Alzheimer's. Yeah, resveratrol supports that, supports brain health. And then this is a very interesting one if you haven't heard of it. CERT1, the CERT1 gene is often called the longevity gene. So the anti-aging gene and resveratrol helps that. Of course, another thing that really helps that too is lifestyle and exercise. Uh, and then the mTOR gene, this one's involved with cellular signaling throughout the entire body. So our cells have to communicate throughout the entire body, which is, is, a, is big. I mean, that's regulatory of everything. And resveratrol is one of the main things that can really support that gene. AMPK, that helps with manufacturing energy at a cellular mitochondrial level. And then this FOXO gene, which also relates to mitochondrial health. So, which again, that mitochondria is that area in the cell that makes energy. So pretty, uh, pretty important stuff here. Again, if, if I'm going to take something, um, this is pretty close to the, the one thing because it, it does so much and it's so protective of us. It protects the gut, protects the brain, protects the lungs. It actually uh, protects the epithelial cells in the lungs to prevent damage there. Uh, protects the heart, protects the mitochondria, helps to modulate inflammation. And this is really important with autoimmune issues, chronic health issues, chronic inflammation, because once that inflammatory cascade starts, nothing really stops it. It actually self-perpetuates, but resveratrol can help stop that cascade, that, that 
uh, self uh, perpetuating uh, response. So especially for chronic inflammation. And of course, we talked about anti aging. I mean, this is like one of the top of the list for anti aging. So how would you take this? Um, you want to find a good source. Uh, you either, uh, I, my favorite is a whole foods type source where they're using real foods, turning them into supplements. You get a really powerful resveratrol. You know, if it is a synthetic resveratrol, probably, uh, important that it's involved, that it's taken that it's with a fat. Usually you'll find it as a liposomal resveratrol, but either one of these about, um, 1000 to 2,500 milligrams. I'd say the majority of our patients usually are around 1600 milligrams. Um, starting off, sometimes if we get above that 1600 or towards this higher number, every once in a while, the only negative is potentially somebody might get some nausea or something like that. There's really no negatives to resveratrol. It's pretty amazing. Um, like I said, you can't really get really enough from food. And then um, what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to put up a video um, that you can click on that actually shows how resveratrol is in wine. But you might want to think twice about that. So, all right. So watch that next video. I'll see you soon and God bless.